What up with it, QR Nation? Auntie. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that thing one time. We greatly appreciate if you took the time to do so. Leonardo. DiCaprio. Jennifer. <laughs> Lawrence. Lawrence. Don't look up. Uh oh. Shit. Like literally. Netflix. Hey, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what they on. Two good actors. So. This is not real. This is not real. This is not real. This isn't happening. King. Oh. I always like when the movie is based, <laughs> based on real events. You don't, you don't like that? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Uh, tell me this isn't really happening. I hear there's uh, something you don't like the looks of. We discovered a very large comet. Oh, good for you. It's headed directly towards Earth. This comet is... They're trying, They're trying to, to tell us something. They're trying to tell us right here. They're trying to tell us something. Wait a minute. I'm... Let's, let's see what's going to happen to us. I'm about to pat my... What we call a planet happen. killer. <laughs> At this exact moment, I say we sit tight and assess. Sit tight and assess? Sit tight and then assess. The sit tight part comes first, and you got to digest it. That's the assessment period. This is the worst news in the history of humanity. He just blew us off. What are we going to do? We have to release the information. So we just leak it. Today, I've made a pretty big discovery in space. How big is this thing going? I can it destroy my ex wife's house. Is that possible? <laughs> There's a 100% chance that we're all going to die. Hey, hey, hey. Well, the handsome astronomer can come back anytime, but the yelling lady, mm, not, so not so much. We're going to get the news out there one way or another. It's real and it's coming. Jesus Christ, you could have just called me. This comet contains $30 trillion worth of material. What do trillions of dollars matter if we're all going to die? Oh, no, we're rich. That would be terrible. Oh, oh. Oh. You guys discovered a comet? I have a tattoo of a shooting star on my back. Oh, that's, that's terrific. <laughs> this could be a complete disaster. This is already a disaster. Girl from Live TV said we're all gonna die. No. You'll never take me alive! There it is! Giant comet! Boiling its way! Towards Earth! Can you see it? I can't! My head is in a bag! I did have the FBI put that bag over your head. They don't do that. The CIA does, but I made them do it. You know, I had a feeling. It's a good feeling, because that is what I did, and it was very funny and cool. So if this is based on true events, wh where was I? Listen. I missed it. I might have missed It'd be a lot going on in the world. I ain't going to lie. Everybody missed that shit. So somebody... Now, they said, bro, we've been told y'all this shit was going to happen. Hey. What the fuck? Hey. You know, it might be a little prediction. I don't like this. Uh, this ain't bad. <laughs> this ain't based on events. So hey, put it down in the comment section below if you know where these events, you know what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, let us know I can't something. recall right off hand. I'm about to Google this. But shit. like, have, okay, you probably ain't seen the movie. What? It's a little nerdy, but the movie called Contagion. I believe it's Contagion. But basically, what? The, um, it, it basically uh, everything that happened in uh, is what we're going through now. COVID. The pandemic. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. You seen that movie? Yeah, I think so. Oh, because at the time, I don't think it was received that way. I can't remember. I can't remember. It came out a little while back, but I remember a bunch of scientists saying like, oh, that movie was real good because if a uh, virus did uh, break out or whatever, that's like exactly how it would happen, you know what I'm saying, and everything. But point being, there, it was so, so close to what we experiencing now that it's crazy. Even to the point where what a lot of people got a fear of is like they end up having to have like wristbands or microchips or something like that mm. in order to say whether you've been vaccinated or not. And you couldn't go to certain places. You Why know do I saying? feel like I've seen this? But it came out in 2011. I think I recently seen something like that. Yeah, you might have seen somebody on social media talking about it. Maybe. No, I seen a movie like that. Oh, it might be another movie like it. But yeah, I, I remember seeing that joint back then. I, and then, you know, I was like, huh. And then I went back, watched Ooh. a few videos, just giving the summer again. I was like, "Ooh, they told us." 
And they told her. They might be telling us. Talking about based on. Oh, check this out. Based on real events that ain't happened yet. They ain't put that part over here. <laughs> that ain't small happened print. yet. Oh, it's yeah. a small it's small print. print. <laughs> well, that ain't happened yet. This part ain't happened yet. Woo! Ooh. But yeah, man, let us, let us know what uh, whose story this is based on. You know what I'm saying? It'd be interesting to look up, you know, if they really, the whole live TV thing, if that really happened, you know what I'm saying? It'd be interesting to check that out and see what's right. going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm let about, us know down in the comment section below. I'm about to go. You about to go? Go well! <laughs> so well, shit. Tell me about, about to go. I'm about, man, look. Alright, so... So why why are you planning that out? What can they do for us? <laughs> y'all better come with me. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, peace. I got a bunker. You want to go? Yeah, let's go.